All right, this question was sent to me by a Year 12 Maths Methods student. The information that we have is that dy dx is negative e to the kx. We know the tangent to the curve at 1 by negative e to the 3 goes through the origin. Okay, This comes up a lot in exams, this type of question. Find k and hence find y as a function of x. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to sketch a graph. It's not going to be to scale, but it's going to give me an idea of what's going on. So I've got this graph e to the negative kx. Okay, and it's going to explode down like that. I know that this, let's say this point here is the point 1 negative e cubed. And what I know from the question is that the tangent at this point here goes through the origin. Okay, so that is a tangent. I'm just turning that into a right angle triangle. And what I know is that this distance here is one unit and this distance here is negative e cubed units. So from that, I can find the gradient at that point. So now you're going to have to suspend disbelief here a little bit. And this, this imagine this is actually a tangent. Like if you zoom in, you'll notice it's not. But we're going to agree that that's a tangent. And the tangent, which we'll call m, is rise over run. So the rise of this line, the rise is negative e cubed, and the run is 1. So what that lets me say, and remember that the, the gradient of the tangent is the derivative at that point. So I'm now able to say that to y dx given x equals 1 is negative e cubed, okay? Because at x equals 1, that's a tangent, and the gradient of the tangent is the value of the derivative. So I found the gradient of that tangent, so I've therefore found the value of that derivative. And that's where this going through the origin is really nice. It makes rise over run super easy to calculate. So if dy dx at x equals 1 is equal to negative x cubed, then it's also equal to negative e to the 3k. So what I've done there is I've taken this here and I've subbed in x equals 1. Sorry, that should be a 1. Okay. And we can see pretty quickly, but therefore k is 3. Okay, so I know with high confidence that k is 3. So now I can start doing my calculus. So y is the integral of dy dx dx, which means it is the integral of negative e to the 3x dx. And that's because the y dx is negative 3x from the question. So I can anti-differentiate that. I get negative 1 third, 1 third, e to the 3x plus c. I know I go through the point 1 negative e to the 3, that's given to me in the question, so I can now find my constant of integration. So I can say that negative e to the 3 is equal to negative a third e to the 3 plus c, which means that c is equal to 1 third e cubed minus e cubed. 
So I've taken C and I've swapped sides and I've moved this negative over the top, over to the other side of the equality. So this is equal to 2 thirds E cubed. Therefore, Y, therefore, Y is equal to negative 1 third E to the 3X. That's a negative minus 2 thirds E cubed. Okay. Hope that was useful. Good luck.